What's up, everybody? Old School NYC Gamer back once again with another video. Today, I'm going to be starting off a series of How Far Can I Go? Very self explanatory, as you just heard from the title. Now, of course, I'm going to see how far I can get on Mike Tyson's Punch Out. I honestly have not played this game in at least over 10 years. And I used to have this when it first came out on the NES back in 1987. So, of course, I'm going to show you some of the gameplay and see how far I could get within this game with maybe one continue or maybe even two. Now, this was released by Nintendo in 1987, so let me just start it up here. Originally, this was, um, you know, Nintendo's Punch-Out! in the arcades, I believe in 85 or 86, if I'm not mistaken. But, of course, due to the... Ar uh, the uh, uh, specifications of the hardware, it cannot really be ported, you know, perfectly from the arcade, but honestly, this is a pretty damn good port, you know, for the Nintendo, and this was uh, developed by Genio Takeda, if I pronounced that right, and, you know, this is actually, you know, faithfully emulated or faithfully ported over to the Nintendo, and of course, this, you know, there was also a sequel that came out, which due to uh, his little screw-ups with the law, they couldn't name it, you know, Mike Tyson Super Punch Out or anything like that. So instead of Mike Tyson being the boss, they had Mr. Dream, which was a uh, made-up character that they had for the boss for the second version of this game for the Nintendo, released in 1990, I believe. And uh, yeah, so anyway, let me stop blabbing here. Let's uh, see how far I could get within this game, and let's check it out. Put the volume up a little bit so you can hear it a little better. And of course, uh, opponent number one is Glass Joe from Paris, France. And, you know, he is actually next to the, uh, one of the easiest people on here next to King Hippo. So let's uh, check out Mike Tyson's Punch Out. See, it's not too hard to knock him down. And of course, if you look up at the meter right here, you got your hearts. If uh, every time you hit and he blocks, they'll take a heart away. And you have three stars, which is also your uh, your super uppercut. So you could use that uh, very uh, very you know as much as you can. But I would recommend that you use that when uh, your opponent's stunned, and you use the select button to for that. Now, of course, here we got Von uh, Kaiser from. Berlin, Germany, and this is our second opponent here. He's ranked number one, so let's start it up. Of course, there's little characteristics to these uh, boxers. If they uh, make a wink or if they flash, that's basically uh, we know you know they're gonna punch and you gotta get out of the way. And there's a super punch I just used right there, my super uh, swinging uppercut. And the rules of boxing do apply if you knock down your opponent three times in the round as a TKO, unless they don't get it by the count of ten, it's a knockout. Popeye here, little left right, let's go ahead and adjust the camera one second here guys, sorry. There we go, TKO. And through this game, there's basically three levels. Now I'm going through the minor circuit, 
Then the major circuit, then I gotta fight my way over to Mike Tyson. So let's check out uh, my first opponent here. Then I'm gonna have to go for the minor circuit title. And that would be Piston Honda, which I believe was a character in the uh, Punch-Out arcades back in the day. Then of course when they charge, just be you have to time it just right to use a uh, body blow to knock your opponent out. I do apologize for that noise in the background. We got the street sweepers coming through my building now. So what do you what do you expect? And I got a TKO here, won the title. Of course, going to show that inspirational uh, little montage as I win the title here. And if you played this game, you probably already know what I'm talking about. So let's check it out. So we got a little Mac running through the uh, cityscape here. I believe it's Brooklyn when you see uh, you know, where he's running from. He's running down the Brooklyn Promenade. And of course, when you win each title, you get a password, which is also your continue password. Okay, everybody, so now we're on to the major circuit, and now we're going to face off against Don Flamenco. Uh, to me, he's one of the most annoying characters in this game, and you'll see why. Of course, he's asking you to hit him, and when you do, so time's of the essence, you gotta basically hit every uh, punch. The only way you're gonna be able to punch is if he's begging for it. There goes your TKO, ladies and gentlemen. Of course, here now we got King Hippo. He's the second easiest person on Punch Out to uh, basically beat. And he hails from the uh, Hippo Island of the South Pacific, which I don't know where the hell that is. Certain characteristic to this player here is that right there.
one of them had that one punch. He's not getting up. I would wonder what would happen if he actually did try to get up, try to fight a little more, but after that KO, you just move on to the next opponent. Now, of course, here we have the Great Tiger from Bombay, India. He's actually one of the more started challenging uh, fighters here within Punch-Out. He does give you a little bit of a fight. Of course, when the jewel on his turban blinks, that's basically when he's about to throw that punch at you. One thing about this game I've noticed, when you knock your opponent down, the clock stops. As I remember in boxing, the clock would just keep going. And after his special move of four punches, you block him, and he's dizzy, just hit him, and that's it, he's down. And of course, because he's going to survive round one. And you weren't going to get that one on me. And now we got a little bit of trash talking here, as you're about to see. Now, of course, if your energy is very low, and you can see that your face is all mangled up, you can hit select. And that gives you your quick power up. But I believe you only get that one per match. So you really got to use it sparingly. Now let's hit to round two here. I'm not going to wait, I just want to just freaking knock him out. Just before that round ended, knocked his ass out. Now we're going to see how far I can get through this one. Because it's my old nemesis, the biggest pain in the butt on the Nintendo. Can't stand this guy. Ball Bull, but missed and Bull Turkey. And of course, this is going to be the uh, championship for the major title bout. So let's check it out. Let's see how quick he hands my ass to me in this game.
So of course you gotta hit him when he stuns. Cause if you wait, he's gonna get out of the way of that super punch. Like he just did right there. Up oh, here comes the charge. And of course you gotta time it just right. There's been times I thought I've had him, but he would knock me out cold. It. I'm the champion for this one. Hooray to me, everybody. I know I'm not uh, really that talkative today. I do apologize. But yeah, so far so good. Now I think this is where when I get into the uh, championship circuit, I'm basically going to get killed. And here we go. Nighttime in Brooklyn. How grand it is, huh? I also want to uh, add something here. Believe it or not, this game overall is the sixth best NES game of all time uh, by the readers and buyers who bought this game, you know, so on and so forth. I can see why though, like, you know, definitely a lot of replay to this game. Ah, so look who's back and he wants some more, huh? Alright. Definitely know he's not going to be as easy as he was the first time around. Yeah, he definitely comes back at you with a vengeance now. Knocked down, you just gotta hit all your hit your A and B buttons as quick as you can. And I might not be able to make this one, everybody. One more and I'm done. Yeah, I did not do so good in that round. As you can see right there. So I'm now I'm going to be using my select button to, you know, get my energy back as best I can here. Let's go to round two. Didn't really give me that much of a boost there. gonna get up. Even I'm shocked. I barely squeaked by that that fight. Okay everybody, so next up is gonna be 
Sutter Popinski. Yeah, and this is the one fighter, and I can't remember this, from my days playing this game, he would beat the crap out of me, and he had the, almost the same mocking laugh as Bald Bull. Can't stand this guy. to be fast on his uppercuts. Get that one cheap shot in, don't you? And as you see from the damage, if you look at his left eye, it basically, you know, punched him shut. So, let's try to put him away now. Every round gets harder, it gets a little more difficult with the fighters. So you're not laughing now, huh? What happened? Try to knock me out. Punk. Alright everybody, so now we finally got through that schmuck. Now let's see what we got up. Oh, and this is going to be a rematch and he is definitely going to be harder. This might be a continue here. I lucked out beating him the first time. It's not going to be so easy this time. Throws you off with that on his timing. So you gotta like every time you punch him and you know you're gonna beat him. Come on. Yeah, you know you were gonna get me. So every time you think you got him beat, he's got a little bit of extra energy there that he just gets himself. And I know Nintendo wanted to make that challenging, but damn, it's a pain in the ass.
He doesn't give me too much energy there. So I don't know if you have to wait a while to get that energy, or they just give it to you, you know, what, whatever they feel like. Yeah, about time I hit him and knocked his ass out. You have to get up at 9, don't you? Yep, it's gonna go to the last round here. And you can see that I don't look too pretty there. My whole face is all mangled up, if you can see right there. I mean, really. Up, oh, and here's round three. That's it! Finally beat him! Now I can say this is the farthest I've gotten through this game in over 15 years. When this game first came out, I actually did beat Mike Tyson, but I honestly don't think I will be able to do that. Now we got Don Flamenco. We're going to see what uh, little moves he has for us this time. He's not begging for it, he's just coming right at me now. As you see right there. Yeah. Did you ever notice when you punch him in the face, he has like this white stuff around his mouth? And I know that's definitely not drool, people. Yeah, cheap shots, right? Yeah, really? I don't really agree with you on that one. You got the beautiful part right, but definitely not for your fighting style. And of course, you see here, I'm trying to maybe give it a little more time. Because honestly, for a lot of you who play this game, maybe you could answer this for me. Um... 
if you leave this going for a little longer, do you get more strength when you use the select button to revive Mac? Feel free to leave a comment for that one. So let's uh, get back into round two here. See, his strategy now is just to drive your hearts down so he can, you know, get that good cheap shot in for you. That's it, you're gone. Beautiful dancer, my ass. You can't even stay on the ground after I knocked you out. Alright, everybody. Now, here he is, Mr. Sandman. And he is, for a lot of you who don't know, if you played Punch Out in the arcades, he's one of the hardest fighters in that game. And he is no freaking joke. If I could get past him then I believe I will be facing off against Mike Tyson. So let's see how quick he annihilates me. That's that punch you gotta watch out for. It's all about timing, which I don't have right now. See right there. 38 seconds. He already had me on the canvas. Can you say knock out people? Wait and finish me off. As you see right there, people. That's a knockout. Even I didn't know better not to, uh, you know, try to continue this one. I got my butt handed to me. But that's about it, everybody. So I hope you guys enjoyed to see uh, how far I could get in this uh, series. Uh, don't know what I'm going to be playing next. Uh, just beware that these videos will probably go over 20 minutes at minimum. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. Uh, feel free to leave a comment. And if you have any other tips for me to try to beat Sandman, <laughs> Mr. Sandman, that is, uh, be greatly appreciated. Have a great day, guys. Take care. Thanks for watching. Feel free to comment, subscribe, and uh, check out some of my older videos if you haven't seen what I'm all about. And that's about it. Take care, everybody. Cheers.